Good morning fellow Jeepers. Today I'm going to be answering the question that all of you are probably wondering. How do you make vlogs consistently almost every week? I oh, know. How do you make good vlogs that people will want to watch and will enjoy? I don't even know how to word it. How do you make vlogs that people how do you how do you make enjoyable comp if you just follow these quick and easy steps it will guarantee you almost instant success on YouTube and this is going to be completely sarcastic so if you actually think any of these steps are going to help you just click one of the links below something a different video from this because this isn't going to help you at all so if you want to make good content for your followers make sure whatever you do don't keep them posted in fact keep them guessing don't just update everything that happens in your life. Upload about once every one to two months. Sometimes upload five episodes a week and then sometimes wait five months before you upload one episode. And make sure you always have something that really changed and you didn't record. For example, if you want to build this platform inside of your Jeep, don't record that, just do it. And then wait for people to find out, oh, he built that, when did he do this? How did that happen? When did he get this idea? Just make sure you keep them guessing. You don't want to give, tell them exactly what you're doing. You see, a perfect example of what I'm talking about is like this omelet right here. See, I just made this omelet in my cast iron skillet, but did I film it? <laughs> of course not. People aren't actually interested in what you're doing in your life. That's why it's called a vlog. Wait. So yeah, I don't actually know what I'm doing, if that makes any sense. So like for example, I have this platform in here. Did I film myself building it? Of course not. Why would I do that? And then I've made this omelet. Did I film myself doing that? Of course not. What am I doing? I'm recording commentary. Just me talking about things that I've done instead of actually showing what I did. Because that makes more sense, right? So yeah, so like basically don't do what everybody else is doing. So if everybody else is filming like every day or every week, two times a week, don't do that. Change it up a little bit, like don't actually record interesting things in your life, just record whenever you feel like it. So for example, I felt like recording today. Even though I've done a bunch of successful things recently, I recorded today instead of recording what I was doing before today. So. For example, I just made an omelet, I just ate an omelet, did I record it? No. Why? I didn't feel like it, so why would I record it? Also, I got a spatula. I didn't pay for it, but I got one. So if you want to record interesting vlogs, I'd suggest don't follow any of these rules, because I have no idea what I'm doing. A lot has happened recently, and I haven't recorded any of it, so oops. I actually started to make a vlog the other day. I went on a jog. So it is 9 a.m. in the morning, and I'm actually doing this, guys. There's, there's no, like, how am I supposed to know when to go? So yeah, that morning I w woke up, I went on this jog, and I was like, this is a great time to film. I recorded myself jogging, and then I just never finished uploading what I was doing. Uh, one day I decided to clean up the garage. So I made a time lapse of me cleaning up the garage and then I also still didn't record doing anything else. So like I've started to record a lot of stuff and then I didn't. And then I just got really busy with school and stuff and I kind of lost the enthusiasm to start making videos because I'm like I need to focus on school. I was doing school and then I was like every day I was like okay at the end of this day I need to take like 20 minutes to just make a video and, th and then I never did. I just did not do that. So. Um, with some of the free time uh, at the end of the day every once in a while I take a couple hours right before it went dark Which was a terrible idea to just take the last few hours of the day to try to do something But I actually did so this is what I've been doing um, if it hasn't been obvious yet oh. 
this this is what I've been doing, and so I need to record that, and I need to get this smudge off. Okay. Okay. First of all, let me show you this. This is not exactly an original idea. I saw this other guy um, who's basically doing what I'm trying to do. Um, and so basically what this is, this is, I kind of copied the idea off of a couple people. I saw, I really liked what he did and he had a Jeep TJ and what he did was he basically just took a board, he cut it basically like this. Um, I am not a very good wood cutting person. I basically, speed cut this I didn't do anything special I sanded the edges on a piece of plywood and I made this board it can support enough weight to use what I'm using it for but I would not suggest sitting on it it's not that sturdy but I really liked his idea of using a magnet to just hold up the board and this is a 35 pound magnet so it's secure enough it doesn't rattle or anything it just sits up there I used I want to use a cable but this is just literally shoe laces and then boom connect right there and then so this is my propane stove just some stuff that I'm putting together and I haven't this isn't a foolproof thing this is just kind of something I threw together and then here I put a platform in my bed this is just a really badly cut um, plywood I put these two little like fence post looking things there's one another one back there you can't see it but there's just two of these and it's two boards cut separately and then I just drilled them drilled them together and because they're kind of warped it's not like even perfectly but as long as I keep this board on it it feels like one piece it hardly rattles um, it doesn't rattle like when I hit a bump sometimes you can kind of hear a bump in the back but that kind of applies to pretty much anything I use so other than that, it's actually pretty secure. I have my jacket back here. And then I put this big, thick blanket in the back as a pad. And I slept in here last night. So that pad worked horrible. I, it felt like I was sleeping on a rock. But other than that, it's pretty comfortable. I mean, it feels like a rock. Slept on it like a rock. But um, my plan is to get like foam padding and then just like put the foam padding just all around here that way it's a lot paddier a lot better pad I put an air mattress in the back which didn't exactly work obviously so then that's basically what I've been up to and so I've been doing all this for the last few days and uh, I didn't really record it oops I really should have recorded it but I did it didn't also my hair looks amazing today my mom's gonna kill me for uploading this video where my hair looks like this because I slept in the Jeep last night, I woke up in the morning and I've tried to kind of not leave the Jeep since. I'm trying to get an idea of what I would need if I was going to stay in here for like a week or so. And so far, um, I realized that I need to get a bowl, dishes, I need to realize how to, I need to figure out a way to wash dishes. Um, I definitely need to experiment with things. And the goal was to try to make everything fit with still having the passenger seat. But I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna work. We're gonna have to see. I either have to get more creative with how I fit things in or I need to take the passenger seat out, but we'll see. But so far, yeah, that's what I've been up to. Kind of interesting. I definitely, this is actually, I am actually using the 7D. Oh, my Canon 7D, the DSLR that I said I was gonna start using. So I'm actually using it right now and realizing how heavy it is. I don't know if this is the best idea. Kai, say hi. Kai, say hi. Very, very tall on that desk, and it gets 